Hello everybody. Today we're doing another fan service video. Got a request from Roadbog. He wanted a tutorial on syncing save data for non-Steam games. I'm guessing between the Steam Deck and the PC. So if you enjoy these videos, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, let's take a look at cloud saving for non-Steam games between the Steam Deck and your PC. I'm going to use the game Stardew Valley for today's demonstration. Uh, my Steam Deck is connected to uh, my capture card, so you can see it on the PC right now. Uh, you can see here's the Steam overlay, and here's my PC. So let's take a look at my Steam Deck first, uh, Stardew Valley, and I don't have any saves here. All right. So, okay, and then I'm going to open Stardew Valley on my PC. And I don't have any saves on my PC version as well. So I'm going to open a new game. And I'm going to call it GUG, Growing Up Gaming. And skip intro. And it should create the save file. Alright, so it's created the save file. So I can quit out of this now. And quit out of this. And then back on my Steam Deck. You should see the save file. Yep, see you can see the GUG save file day one. So let's load this game and we can go to day two and save it and see if it transferred to my PC. So I'm gonna go to day two and it automatically saves. And we can quit out of it now. So we're in day two. So I'm gonna quit out of it. And you can see the P it's already transferred the it's already synced up to my PC the save file. So I'm gonna open Stardew Valley again on my PC to make sure that the save file is on day two. That means it's working. Okay, so you can see it's on day two. So yeah, the sync the cloud sync is working for non-Steam games. And I'll show you how it's done. See you in a bit. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is install a program onto our PC and a program onto our Steam Deck. So the first program on our PC, we're going to go to syncthing.net. I'll leave a link in the description. Go to downloads, and then we're going to download this sync tracer. It's a, a, for Windows, because I'm using Windows. So I'm going to download the 64 bit version, .zip. So I'm going to download it. And let's just wait for it to download. It should be a quick download. Okay. And then I'm going to unzip it. It's in my downloads folder. So I'm going to unzip it. So extract here. And I've got the folder here. And I'm going to put the folder in somewhere. I'm not going to keep it in a downloads page. I'm going to put it in my D drive. So I'm going to paste the folder on my D drive. And then I'm going to go into it and then open the program, Sync Tracer. This is the program. Double click. So, okay, so this is the program. And it's starting. Okay. So I'm not going to allow reporting. So first thing I'm going to do here is go to File, Settings, and I'm going to make sure it starts at Login and it starts Minimize. So every time I uh, log into my PC, it automatically starts this program and it starts Minimize. So save it. And that's it for now on the PC. So go to our Steam Deck. And I'm going to install a program on my Steam Deck. Go to the Discover Store. And then we're going to type sync thing. Okay, so we're going to download this sync thing GTK. Install. Wait for it to install.
I'm going to keep this as simple as possible. Okay, so once we've installed it, launch it. And we just click next, 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 and finish. But did I mess up? Yep, I think I messed up. Okay, let's open the program again. Sync thingy. Sync thing. GTK. Yeah. Okay. So it's starting. Okay, so it's starting the program. And we can't do anything here. So we need to go to the top left corner, click on the button, and open the web interface. Okay, so it's going to open up your web browser. And we've got the web interface, and we're not going to allow anonymous usage reporting. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to link it to our PC. So we're going to add a remote device. And it should automatically detect an ID if, if you're connected to the same network. So this is IVQY. Let's double check it's the same as the PC one. So let's go to our PC first. Okay, this is my PC. And let me see my ID. Oh, no, it's a little bit different. So maybe it's not that one. Okay, so let's add it here. Okay, we're going to add a remote device here. Okay, so I've got two. I've got a lot of devices at home. So uh, I think it's this one, J5AN. Okay, let's go back to our Steam Deck. And let's check the ID. What's the Steam Deck? Yeah, J5AN, this one. I don't know. So the Steam, this Steam Deck is called J5AN. Yep. So I'm going to, on my PC, I'm going to add this to the device. Yeah, um, that's that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna press save, and it's currently disconnected. So because I need to confirm it on my Steam Deck. So back on my Steam Deck. Okay, let me maximize this for easier. You can see that I've got a new device. My razor blade, my notebook is trying to connect. So I'm gonna add device, and I'm gonna say yes. Okay, and here. Are the I think we're just going to ignore these part. So it's connected. It's connected and that's good. So the two, my Steam Deck and my PC is connected. And now we're going to set up the save, the syncing the save. So you've got to know the location of your save file. So every game's different, so you need to check the save location. So I'm going to do Stardew Valley. So I know the location for Stardew Valley is for my Steam Deck. It's on Home and then Deck. And then it's a hidden folder, dot .steam and Steam and Steam Apps. Comp data. Oh, I need to check the the. So my Stardew Valley, it's in this the comp compact data. It's in this folder three four five nine. Okay, so three four five nine, three four five nine. Okay, this one, so this one, and then in prefix drive C under users Steam user. Then uh, app data, roaming, and Stardew Valley saves. So this is the folder on my saves. Um, I'm going to copy this location. It's a long one. Copy it. And here I'm going to add a folder. And I'm going to call it Stardew Valley. And 
in the folder path, I'm going to, going to paste the path before. Okay, and then sharing, I'm going to share it to my razor blade and file versioning. So how many versions it keeps? So I'm going to keep a simple file versioning. So uh, this, you, you do some settings. So it cleans after, I'm going to set it to 30 days. So for the old versions, it's going to delete after 30 days. And I'm going to keep five versions of it. To stand it and then in advance uh the scanning i'm gonna keep this set five seconds so it, it refreshes every five seconds save okay so it's up to date here now i think i need to go back to my pc to enable it so let's go to the pc okay so this is the pc all right so new folder steam deck wants to share a folder for stardew valley i'm going to click add and this is the folder i need on my pc i need to locate my save file for stardew valley so it's in c drive users Perry, app data, roaming, Stardew Valley, save. So it's in here. So I'm going to copy this save directory. And I'm going to paste it here. Okay, so now my PC folder and my Steam Deck folder are connected. So here we're doing the same thing. Uh, sharing, yes, it's sharing to the Steam Deck. File versioning, I'm going to do the same thing. Simple file share, and it's going to delete after 30 days as well. I'm going to keep five versions of it. And then advance here, I'm going to, five seconds, it's going to scan any differences between the two files every five seconds to make sure that they're synchronized. Save. Okay. So now they're up to date. You can see the remote, the folders are up to date here. But this is not all because uh, this is on desktop mode. So how do you make sure that this program runs in game mode? So back to our Steam Deck. Back to our Steam Deck. We need to type some code. Okay, so let's just all this first we need to type some code so the first thing you need to do is you need to go to this location i'll leave this in the description so you'll know okay go to your dolphin you got to go to this location okay home and then dot config system d and then user and then we're going to create we gotta create a file. So create new. We gotta create a text file, and it's gonna be called this. It's gonna be called syncthing.service. Okay, and open it. And inside we're gonna type this code. I'll leave it in the description so you can just copy and paste it. So we've got to copy and paste this code. And then we're going to save it. Save. All right. And then we're going to open our console. And then we're going to enable. First, we're going to enable sync thing. So we're going to run it. So we uh, paste this. Okay. So it's enabled sync thing. And then we're going to start the service. Okay. Okay, so now once that's done, it's gonna run, this program is gonna run in gaming mode. So let's test it out. Test it out. In gaming mode, let me load gaming mode first.
and let me load the gaming PC. So I've got my game ready. Cardi Valley. Okay, got my game ready. Okay, so okay, my Steam Deck is booted up. Let's go to library. Open um Stardew Valley. Okay, load game. So day two, okay. So let's go and see if we can save it in day three. See if it works on the PC. Okay. So let's go to day three. Okay, it's saved. All right, you can see at the bottom here, it's synced to the PC, so it should be okay. And let's quit the game. Okay, let's go to our PC. load see we're in day three so it works so that's how you do it guys so i hope this video helped you out if it did please leave a like and subscribe and i guess i'll see you guys in the next one see you later